Hey there, so today we have another review. Um, this is a fun one, so I'm just gonna start cracking beers and talking about the beer. So, uh, West Brokoza is one of my favorite beers of all time. So, we had the, well, luckily, we were able to get the rest of the lineup at GB's recently. So I'm really excited to do I mean, I could have created more content and just done it like one by one, but why not? Well, I did this one by itself, but let's just dig in. Mm, poor Cicerone. Don't have perfect glasses. I don't know. They, they sit in a counter. I don't have them upside down. I have a cabinet for them. I got to figure out what to do with these glasses because it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Jesus, this one was not clean either. I tried my best. I tried to scrub them real good, but I guess I need to get some soap in them. And then wash it out real good because you don't want soap residue in your glasses after you clean them. But anyway, um, love me some West Rokosa. And recently got the key lime pie and the lemon cucumber. So really fun. Uh, I've reviewed all of these actually. Um, they also had the other one, which is a uh, key lime pie, but like not P-I-E. It's like P-I. Comes with a tall boy with a sticker can. Doesn't look like this. And... I believe I've reviewed it before, but definitely had it before. And it's more of a uh, kind of like a pastry sour. So we're just going to the OGs. Uh, at least the OG and then like, you know, the variant. So uh, let's take this one. Classic, right? This is with West Brokozo. You see me review this. Huge salinity, huge lemon character. Super citrusy coriander. Super shreddingly tart. Salty. Delicious. I mean, beer Gatorade is what I call it, right? Just so good. So let's take to the key lime, uh, key lime pie. Oh yeah, so different. Uh, lime driven now. So like, huh. this was salty lime beach salt sand. Here it's lime. It's margarita. That's what it is. Salt margarita. There you go. Um, just um, lime juice, lime peel, lime uh, uh, lime zest, salt. A little bit of doughy malt in there. A little bit of that white doughy character. Really nice. Okay. So now you get a little bit of this kind of bread crusting, which is weird. The beer is definitely not as acidic and sour or salty. I don't know what they did to this beer, but it is more sweet. Um, lime is also just a sweeter fruit than lemon. Lemon is like way more acidic than lime. Um, but it has this beautiful like cinnamon bread crust, bread crusting. I don't know what they did to it. Delicious flavors. Okay. So whatever they did to flavor really makes sense. Like, it's still sour, but it's lime sweet with a little bit of bread crust character, a little bit more doughy malt, and it almost has a light vanilla tone to it. So I'm not quite sure what they added to it, but it really makes for a really wonderful kind of like um, kettle sour that is refreshing tart, but not a pastry sour. So it has like, you know, still like, you know, acidic and refreshing and goza. It's still goza, but it still has this beautiful like creamy, vanilla key lime pine character a little bit of margarita it smells like margarita but really like vanilla bright uh, uh, uh pie crust um sweet lime flavor really nice yeah nice so this glass was not clean i guess <laughs> this one was probably the worst offender of the bunch because it can't hold the head very well but oh that's weird okay so super cucumbery yeah yeah Super cucumbery. Um, it smells like cucumber water, which I generally tend to hate, but it is what it is. So. Love me some pickles, but when you put like, you know, like fancy restaurants, they like have that like water or uh, fancy hotels, like have like, here's, you know, free water, but then like they throw like, like chop up tons of cucumber and like throw it in the water. You're like, ah, like, at least me, I'm like, ah. Yeah. Okay. Lemon cucumber. Interesting. Okay, I can see it. This feels like it's more base beer, lactobacillus, like like the base beer is showing acidity. So it's more like yogurty and like acid. Here there's like a lemony sourness. Mm hmm Interesting. Because with, with um lacto, you're gonna get lactic acid acidity and I think Lacto produces maybe some other acids as well. Here, you get more citric acidity. A little bit. It's still like, you know, base 
lactic acid beer. Um, but there's a little bit more complexity of the acidity, but it very much drives on the um, cucumber. I will say the cool thing is that the beer is still sour, so it sort of has this kind of like, um, not really pickles because pickles is acidic. Um, you've had you know, there are dishes with cucumber and lemon, and I go to Greek food, so I think of like um, what it was like a salad, right? Like like, like the dishes where like you know it's a little bit of like feta, a little bit of cucumber, a little bit of a romaine lettuce, some uh, red onion. And you spritz a little bit of like a, a lemon juice on there with your tzatziki and uh, this dill. There. Like, it tastes Greek. This, this, this beer tastes Greek. Yeah. I wish I knew more Greek phrases, but opa, I don't know. <laughs> like, very Greek. Yeah. Lemon, bre like, like doughy, like, like uh, pita. So it's like vegetarian greek food it, it, it tastes like lemon and cucumber and, and even like there's a little bit of some lingering favor of like maybe the coriander is in or something there's like a something tomatoey about the beer too i think it's the cucumber is that vegetal thing so it almost has hints of like tomato to it because like you know my brain's going to greek greece and now or greek cuisine and then like tomatoes thrown in this drink as well <laughs> mm-hmm yeah <laughs> there you go once you get that in your mind you can't get out of it. <laughs> it, it it tastes like it tastes like a greek sour so that's very fun um if you like cucumber you're gonna love this guy if you like cucumber water if you like greek food um i like greek food but like cucumber is a little heavy uh but this is a good base if you if, if they wanted to go really far and make a greek goza <laughs> greek goza that's a great idea greek goza dill uh dill and then the other thing is um lactic acidity is like greek yogurt right so it's like lactic yeah yeah there's like 90 percent of the way to make a greek sour i never thought of this beer to be greek that's a greek goza right there lemon greek yogurt cucumber euro uh not euro um and pita that's what this beer tastes like um i'm not the biggest fan of cucumber but this was actually pretty fire this hmm. this i think is better though um i just like lime flavor more than cucumber flavor i think it's a preference thing but i think the lime is a little bit more expressive it's more sexy it has a little bit more of this kind of um key lime pie character but also tastes a little bit like um what does it taste like uh, a little bit like a sweet margarita like not a proper margarita like something with a little bit of sweetness to it because it has this bread crust flavor uh, pie crust flavor and a little bit of vanilla character um a proper margarita is like sour right um this is obviously sour but like has these like vanilla um desserty tones to it like you know obviously trying to taste like uh, key lime pie and then yoji's a crusher it actually tastes pretty bad compared to these two because these have like other flavors to it but Yeah, and honestly, it tastes quite bland, unfortunately, side by side. But that's what you get when you like have like extra flavorings to other beers, and like the base beers can taste a little bland, right? I still think the if I had to have beer every day, it would be this one, right? You know what I'm gonna do, guys. You know what I'm gonna do. Cuvette time. Yeah, close enough. Screw it. Obviously, I have to pour in the worst glass of the bunch. The one's the biggest culprit of uh, being dirty, but okay, fun. Still, again, the dom the dominant character is that freaking cucumber. Excuse me. Oh, that's fun. Everything's just excuse me rounded out. Hmm. Nothing really shows. A little bit of lime, a little bit of cucumber, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of the base beer. Yeah. I don't say it's, like, great. It all cancels each other out, but it's still very good. Like, this is, like, fantastic. Mm. Ideally, it adds something, like, elevates all the beers. But it all makes... Eh, it does that thing where like, you know, some beers have peaks and valleys in flavor. When you add them all together, it's just all just like all those peaks and valleys are sort of just like, you know, neutralized and like a little bit flat. 
like an EQ, like sound, right? Like 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 an like sound EQ where there's like you know all kinds of highs and lows and all that stuff. It's all just like flattened. Um, it tastes great though. So uh, try the cuvee if you ever open all three. Uh, if I rank them, the class is still my favorite. Yeah, I'm going that order. One, two, three. But I will say, if you've ever had the uh, lemon cucumber one, let me know what you think. Because again, if I put the seed in your head that it tastes like a Greek um, sour. <laughs> Greek goza, it's gonna taste like that. It's silly. The beer is just like, yeah, it's it's so weird. But uh, the lemon and the cucumber, like it just tastes like cuisine. Um, this one's fun, the dessert, but the OG is obviously just like, you know, no frills, just crush it, sour, sandy, lemon, salty, perfect. So, um, love this one. This is really fun. Um, I'm gonna find more of this one, more of this one, more of this one. You know, maybe buy more of this one. This one probably won't buy more of all. But until next time, cheers. Hopefully send more Westbrook goes up, please. I need email Westbrook. Until next time, cheers later.